Hey guys, it's Daisy and today's video is a special video for you guys. As you have noticed in my Twitch streams or YouTube streams, I have had this gaming chair for about a couple days now. It's been long due that I actually make a review about the gaming chair and tell you guys all about it. So the very kind and generous people over at Ewin have sent me a free chair to review for you guys and I'm gonna tell you all about it. It is absolutely amazing. First of all, I am completely in love with this chair. If you guys have been on my YouTube for a long time, you guys know that I used to use stools as a gaming chair. I use an outdoor chair as a gaming chair as well. Just a bunch of other different kinds of chairs that weren't really gaming chairs or proper chairs for my back, especially because my back tends to hurt a lot, especially when I was using those chairs that weren't really made for gaming. First of all, let me talk about the chair. I absolutely love the color. This is the color I chose. There were different options. There's red and black, blue and black, pink and black, just, and, and of course the white one and the black which is my personal favorite and matches with my setup, which is why I um, picked this one out out of all the other options they have on the website. So the first thing I really, really love about this chair is the armrest because I'm five feet, which is a midget. <laughs> These can go from higher to lower, whatever's your preference. I personally like to keep them lower because I'm shorter. Um, I kept them like this, it's kind of weird. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm not that tall. Also, what I really love about this chair is the pillows that come with it. Um, these are very adjustable as well. You can put this higher, you can put this lower. Same thing with the head pillow. You can adjust it because I'm so short. I have to keep this on the bottom and it actually is super, super comfortable. This is actually my very, very first gaming chair as well, which is super exciting. Usually sponsorships will tell you to sponsor their product and they don't give you anything to really review, but this is the biggest package I've gotten from any type of company ever before. And I'm not gonna lie, the box was super, super heavy. I had to ask my boyfriend for help to bring the box in because it was extremely heavy. I did have to put the chair together on my own and it was extremely, extremely heavy for me, but I did manage to put it together myself. My boyfriend has also sat in this chair and told me it's really, really comfortable. Sometimes he'll come on my setup and stream from my setup, so he has tried it out. For him, he doesn't even have to adjust the pillow because he's so much taller than me, but for me, you know, I just put the pillow a little lower. Obviously, with this chair, you can also put it higher if you'd like, which, you know, is here, or you can put it low. Also, you can put this up front, over here. I don't know why you would ever play like this. You know, this makes no sense to me. Why would you ever play like this? But, you know, if, if, that's, if that's what you like, you could do that. Or you can also put this all the way back. You know, let's say you and your girlfriend or you and your boyfriend, you know, have a fight and he kicks you out of the bedroom or something and you have no couch. Just pull this all the way back and you got yourself a bed. Just lay here. <laughs> There's another chair company called DX Racer. I know you guys probably know a lot about that one because of the fact a lot of people have DX Racer chairs as well. But what I've noticed about the DX Racer and this one is that the DX Racer is obviously a little more expensive. So this is a cheaper alternative. I have also seen some reviews of people that have had the DX Racer chairs and that have had this one as well and they basically said that they both feel extremely comfortable, they both basically feel the same. So why not just save money and get an Ewin gaming chair instead of a DX Racer? I've actually gone to the DX Racer website just to compare the prices between their chairs and Ewin gaming chairs. And the price difference is crazy because the most expensive chair on the DX Racer website is like 500 something dollars and it didn't even include the back pillows or the head pillow. It just included a chair with nothing, none of this on it. Meanwhile, these chairs all have these um, pillows and headrests and they are more affordable, they're really comfortable and they're cheaper. So. I wouldn't be sponsoring any type of video that I wouldn't agree with and I really really love this chair like I picked the colors they had so many different colors they had red and black blue and black uh, pink and black um, this one that matches with my gaming setup which I'm gonna put LED lights and make it nice and pretty but I absolutely love this color this is the one that I liked if you guys are interested in purchasing one of the 
gaming chairs from this company. I will link it in the description. I will link the website in the description. And you can also use my discount code for 10% off. It is Daisy, D-A-I-S-Y. It's very easy. It's just my name, Daisy like a flower. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know this is a little bit different than what I usually do, but this was a long awaited new video. I mean, I've had this chair already for a few days and I've been waiting to do a review on it and I finally had the time to do it. So um, again, if you're interested, just use my discount code for 10% off. The link is in the description, just like all my social media as well in the description if you're interested in following me. And I think that's it for this video. I will be posting more Fortnite gameplay, uh, Fortnite trolling, and whatever else you guys may be interested in. Also, me and my boyfriend will be doing a Q&A on his channel. If you haven't subscribed to him, his YouTube channel will be in my description as well. So look out for that Q&A. With that being said, hopefully you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So bye guys!